Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching the videos of thermodynamics. In our last lecture, we have studied about heat capacity, about internal energy and about the enthalpy. Okay, now we will see some questions based on these particular topics. Okay, so you can see these questions. Actually, if you want to do such type of questions, you can see the books of the K.L. Kapoor or you can see the book of Puri Sharma and Kalia. Okay. So, I am doing this question here. Practice with us. Alright. First question. See here. Calculate heat required to raise temperature of 10 mole gas from 300 Kelvin to 400 Kelvin is. If we have given two different conditions. One condition is Cm is equal to 3 joules per mole Kelvin. And another condition is Cm is equal to 2T joules per mole Kelvin. So, first condition C here. Cm is given to us is equal to 3 joule per mole Kelvin. Okay. Now, you can see here the Cm is not dependent on temperature. It is temperature independent because there is no T term. So, we can write the formula Q is equal to integration of n cm dt okay and we can take these two terms n and cm outside the integration it means we can write 10 moles n is 10 moles right and cm cm is given to us 3 joule per mole kelvin okay and then put the term of the integration dt. So, now you are getting 10 into 3. It means 30 joule per Kelvin and this the integration of dt will be equal to t2 minus t1. Okay. So, what you are getting 30 joule per Kelvin and here put the values 400 minus 300 Kelvin. So, this value comes around 3000 joule or we can write it 3 kilo joule. So, this will be the answer of the option number A. This question number A. Okay, now see the question number B. If we have given Cm is equal to 2T joule per mole Kelvin. Now, see here. Cm is given to us 2T joule per mole Kelvin. Okay. So, we will write Q is equal to integration of N Cm dt. Now, see here, this Cm is temperature dependent because T term is given to us. So, we cannot put it outside the integration term. Only N will go outside because it is constant. So, put here 10. This is the value of N. Now, integration of 2T dt. 10, then you are getting integration of 2t dt. See here, this 2 will go outside. Okay. Now, see here, this 2 will go outside. So, we can write here 10 mole into 2. Then, integration of t dt will be equal to t square upon 2. Okay. And put here the limits 400 to 300. So, what you are getting? You will get 10 mole into 400 square minus 300 square. Okay. So, this value comes 10 into 10 to power 4 into 7. This will be equal to 700 kilo joule. Okay. So, this is the answer of the question number B. Okay. Now, see the next question. Calculate the heat exchange involved when two moles of substance is subjected to an isobaric process. It means pressure is constant. Causing a change in temperature from 300 Kelvin to 400 Kelvin. If substance is, first we have given ideal monoatomic gas and second we have given a real gas with CPM is equal to 10 plus 2 into 10 to power minus 2 T Kelvin Joule per Kelvin mole. Okay. Now see here. First of all, see the question number A. We have to find out Q. Q 
is given by integration of n c p m d t. Okay, this will be the formula. Now, for first of all, first condition we are given ideal monoatomic gas. For monoatomic gas, we know c v m is equal to three by two r. Okay, that we have seen in our previous lecture. If you want to see that video, the link you will get in the description box. Okay. Once we know about the CVM, then we can find out CPM will be equal to 3 by 2 R plus R. It means it will be equal to 5 by 2 R. Okay. So we know now CPM is given us 5 by 2 R. Now we can find out value of Q. That will be equal to see here N. N is 2 moles. So it is a constant property. So it comes outside 2. Integration of phi by 2 r dt. Now this phi by 2 r will go outside 2 into phi by 2 r, and then dt integration of dt that will be equal to t2 minus t1. Okay. So what we are getting phi r and integration of this this will be equal to t2 minus t1. It means 400. Kelvin minus 300 Kelvin. So this value comes 500 R. Okay. Now you can put here the value of R 500 into 8.31. Okay. So this will be your value in joule. Okay. You can calculate this. This will be your answer. Now see the question number B. You have given CPM is equal to 10 plus 2 into 10 to the power minus 2. T. Okay, so put here the value Q is equal to integration of n C P M D T. Value of n you know two moles that will go outside. Okay, then integration of 10 plus 2 into 10 to power minus 2 T D T. Okay, so Two moles. Okay. Now the integration of 10 will be equal to 10t plus 2 into 10 to power minus 2 t square by 2. Integration of t will be t square by 2. Now you can put here the limits so that you will get 10t plus 2 into 10 to power minus 2 t square upon 2 400 to 300 okay so what you are getting 2 moles into 10 400 minus 300 put here the value of t okay plus 2 into 10 to power minus 2 and here put the value of t square that will come 4 square into 10 to power 4 Minus three square into ten to power four. Okay, so what you are getting, you will get two into ten into hundred plus. Here you are getting two into ten to power minus two into seven into ten to power four. So this value will come two thousand plus fourteen hundred. It means this will be equal to 3400 joules okay so this will be your answer now see the next question see here what is the question del u for a gas undergoing state 1 this is the value for state 1 temperature and volume we have given to state 2 for state 2 we have given the temperature and volume for 1 mole of gas first condition is if gas is ideal and second condition is if gas is water walls we have given the value of cvm and value of constant a okay so now first of all if gas is ideal in that case del u will be equal to n cvm t2 minus t1 this is the simplest formula so just put here value 1 mole of the gas okay and cvm value is given to us 10 joule per kelvin mole into t2 minus t1 400 minus 300 it means 
Kelvin. So this value comes 1200 joule. It means 1.2 kilo joule. Okay. Now see the next question. If gas is van der Waals, in that case value will be equal to n cvm t2 minus t1 plus a n square 1 upon v1 minus 1 upon v2. This formula you will have to use. Okay. Now this value you know. Okay. This will be 1200 joule plus value of a is given to us 2. This value is given to us. This is 2. Okay. So 2 into 1 square 1 upon. Now put the value of the volumes. 2 into 10 to power minus 2 minus 1 upon 4 into 10 to power minus 2. So this value comes 1200 joule plus 2 into 25, and this will be equal to 1250, 1250 joules. Okay, or we can write 1.25 kilojoules. So this will be your answer. Let's see the next question. See here, the next question is one mole of a real gas is subjected to a process from 2 bar 40 liter and 300 kelvin to 4 bar 30 liter and 400 kelvin. You have given if delta U is equal to 20 kilojoules, then delta H is okay. So delta H is actually the formula is del U plus I have told you about this formula in my previous lecture P2 V2 minus P1 V1. You can use this formula here. So put here the value this 20 kilojoule and plus this you have given in the bars. Okay. So 4 into 30 minus 2 into 40. You will get this value in bar. Okay. 20 kilojoule. This value is in kilojoule. Okay. Unit conversion is very important in the case of physical chemistry. Okay. So always remember this in the mind. Here you are getting the answer in 40 bar liter. This value is in bar liter. You will have to convert it into kilo joule. So just you have to divide it by 10. So this value now is in kilo joule. So what you are getting? 24 kilo joule. This is your answer. Okay. So these are the basic type of questions that are asked from the enthalpy or internal energy or heat capacity okay similar type of questions are asked in the question paper also so we will see that question also in our next lectures okay first of all you do the practice of these type of questions in the books several other questions of such type are given if you find any difficulty you can comment me and if you are liking the videos please comment me please share the videos please subscribe the channel thank you